Hey skaters, I'm Roller Ghoulie and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between roller skates or quads and inline skates or roller blades. Just to start out with a little explanation of what a quad skate or a roller skate is, I say these two terms because they are interchangeable somewhat. Roller skates are more of a general term, quad skates refers to the wheel alignment of the skate that makes them different from inlines. So you have your wheel set up like a quad formation, that's why they're called quad skates. These skates usually are made up of a boot, a plate, and then your components which are wheels and toe stops bearings, bushings, etc. Now an inline or a roller blade is a bit different and inline skates is a general term. Roller blade is actually a brand so it's like calling tissues Kleenex. <laughs> so Kleenex is a brand but everyone calls them Kleenex referring to tissues regardless of the brand and that kind of happened with inline skates. A lot of people refer to these as roller blades, even though roller blades a brand in itself and really these are just called inlines. But I just wanted to explain that in case you hear those two different terms and it seems confusing. That's kind of why that name got adopted into what you see as an inline skate. Now an inline skate is usually made up of a boot, a frame, and then your components which are the wheels, bearings, etc. Okay, so let's talk about what makes these two different. There are obvious differences just looking at them, but I'll kind of break it down. As I said already, the formation of the wheels is gonna be the biggest difference. So quad skates or roller skates have the wheels set side by side in twos. So you have kind of like this rectangle shape and that's the alignment of the wheels. There are a ton of variations of boot designs. This is a moxie roller skate, so this is a moxie boot. And this model is called the Lolly. So the ankle support is very flexible. It's still a high top skate, but there's a lot of flexibility in the ankle. There are, like I said, a ton of different models out there and different brands. So you're gonna have different levels of ankle support, but nothing is gonna come to the same level of ankle support as an inline skate that's a high top. So there are boots for roller skates that are low top and low top meaning that it has a lower cut. So that's not gonna have very much ankle support obviously, but regardless, usually the way that these skates are designed is all these pieces are kind of separate. You can buy them separately. You can buy them as complete packages, but you could certainly get the boot separate, the plate separate, truck separate, wheel separate. Everything can be kind of customized and mix matched depending on the brand that you're going for. But that's why a lot of these pieces kind of seem a lot more separated on a quad skate than on an inline. The other biggest difference you're going to see with these are the toe step. So most roller skates have a toe step located in the front and that's this piece here. And a lot of inline skates do not have a toe step or a brake. So that's another huge difference that usually is what I hear inline skaters saying is hard to get used to and vice versa. Now, depending on the inline skate, it may or may not have a break. So if an inline skate does have a break, it's usually a rink style inline skate or a recreational skate and the break would be located on the heel or in the back. But as far as my knowledge, I haven't really seen any inline skates with a break in the front or a toe stop. It has a much longer wheelbase. So the wheels actually extend past the toe and past the heel, whereas on a quad skate, it's usually within the boot itself that the wheels are aligned. So you're not gonna see the wheels extending past the top or the bottom. So you can kind of see that difference. Obviously the wheels are all aligned in a row, which is what makes it an inline skate. So that's gonna be a big difference. And also these skates are designed, usually you can get things as a complete, you can get separate pieces. So you can get the frame separate from the boot, but they are designed a bit differently to make them. They're a little bit more user-friendly, I would say, setting up an inline skate versus a quad skate when you're customizing, but you will generally see them as a complete package with a frame and a boot. You may see low cut inline skates, but usually that's for speed skating. So there's not gonna be much ankle support there since it is cut low, but most of them are gonna be a high top boot, which means it's designed to be higher up on your ankle and it gives a lot of ankle support. So these skates actually have a cuff and a cuff is a plastic kind of support system for your ankle, which makes these 
extremely um, durable in the ankle, a lot of support. I would give this, it's, a, it's higher on the scale for ankle support than this Lolly boot would be. If you're curious what these are specifically, they are called Valos. This brand no longer exists, but there are plenty of really great inline brands out there if you're looking. Continuing on with the differences of these two skates is going to be edges. So to explain what edges are, if you've ever been skiing or snowboarding, then you know what edges are and how to use them in order to carve. So your edges are, would be like kind of the, the edges of your wheels and the pressure that you push into them to get your skates to carve with you or to make turns. So roller skates are gonna be a lot more stable because of the way that the wheels are set up on the skate. You're gonna feel more stabilized to the ground. It requires le less effort to balance. It's easier to just stand upright in roller skates sometimes because of the stability with the way that the wheels are set up in their quad formation. So using edges is a little bit more difficult. You do have to kind of lean your body weight a bit more and really push with your skates to start to feel the edges to get the carbs. And then on an inline skate, it's much easier to, to use edges because of the way that the wheels are formatted, the design of it, just by tipping the skate back and forth is gonna allow you to use your edges instead of really having to apply a lot of body weight into the direction that you wanna go just by kind of tilting your ankles and knees and the boot is gonna create those edges for you a lot easier. The next biggest difference about these two is actually the wheels themselves. So most roller skate wheels are gonna be a bit wider than an inline wheel and I'll put them up so you can see. This is pretty standard for a width of an inline wheel and pretty standard for wheels that are gonna come on a complete package of roller skates or outdoor wheels, something like that. So you can see there's a huge difference in the width of the wheel itself. You can certainly get smaller wheels on your skates, but most likely they're not going to get this narrow of a wheel. A lot of roller skate wheels are designed for stability and a lot of inline wheels are designed for the edges. Now getting a little bit into the nitty gritty of the actual models and differences in roller skates, you'll see there's all sorts of different setups. This pair is just my cruising around skates. They have outdoor wheels on them. So I take them out on the streets just to skate around or skate trails, things like that. I also have an aggressive setup. This is my old setup, so it's missing a toe stop right now. You can ignore that, but it has wider trucks than my cruiser setup. It has slide blocks for sliding on coping and ledges and rails. This boot model actually has a little bit stiffer of ankle support because I prefer that for when I'm park skating or aggressive skating. And aggressive skating is just park skating. So skating on ramps, street skating with ledges and rails, jumping stair sets, things like that. And then I also have a rink setup, which is a more reactive plate. I have harder wheels on for the indoor roller rinks and jam plugs for doing jam skating. You don't need to know all these styles of skating right now, but I'm just kind of giving you examples of how setups can look different and how they can be customized. So I say that roller skating is a little bit more difficult when it comes to customizing your skate to be exactly the way you want it to be if you're trying to get into aggressive skating specifically. A lot of the components that we put on our skates to take them out to the skate park and uh, if you're trying to do wide trucks and you're trying to do slide blocks, it takes a little bit more research and effort to get everything to work together because different trucks are compatible with different plates and different slide blocks are comp compatible with different trucks and plates. So it's kind of like Frankensteining your skate together to fit your needs. And I, I only mention that because that is a difference when it comes to inline skating versus roller skating, and I'll explain why. Now, inline skates have similar variations as I just explained with the roller skates. There are dance skates out there for like figure skating. They have recreational skates, rink skates, speed skates, and aggressive skates. I know that there's other versions and types out there, but just for the sake of this video, those are the ones I'm gonna kind of talk about. So they're all gonna, look a little bit different and they all serve different purposes for what you're using the skate to do. So this skate, for example, is an aggressive style setup. So it's designed for skate parks, street skating, things like that. It has a sole plate for grinding. It has a frame designed for 
uh, avoiding wheel bite when you're doing grinds on coping ledges, rails, and it has a lot of ankle support to protect your ankles when you're doing those types of movements. So it's a lot easier to get a setup to be an aggressive style setup in inlines than it is for roller skating. There's not as many components that you need to get. They have universal parts for inlines for the most part, so it's a lot easier to customize your setup versus with roller skates, there aren't a lot of brands that make universal parts, so it's much more difficult to mix and match different brands and different components. So now that we know a majority of the differences of these skates, let's talk about which is better and why. So in my opinion, I don't find one to be better than the other. I just think that they're totally different. And I really do recommend that if you're not sure which one is for you and which one you think you might enjoy, to try them both. They are very different skates. They have a different feel. If I switch out these skates in the same session, I feel very strange going from one to the other, mostly because of the ankle support and the wheel alignment and the edges. I find roller skates to be a bit more stable and easier, a little bit of an easier learning curve when you're first starting out. I think there are aspects to both skates that make them maybe a little bit more preferable than the other, depending on the type of skating you're doing, but I definitely think it's personal preference. I find inline skates, once you start to get better, it is easier to do certain movements when you're doing aggressive style skating in inlines because the skate is specifically designed for that. With roller skates, I feel that there is a easier learning curve when it comes to just learning the basics on skates, but a little bit of a steeper learning curve when it comes to doing aggressive style skating in quad skates versus inlines. As I said, I don't find either of these to be truly better than the other. It just comes down to personal preference, and the only way to find out what you feel is best for you is to try them out. Another question that I see a lot is, which one is easier, inlines or quad skates? This too is kind of personal preference and personal opinion. I've asked a lot of people this. I have inliner friends that try quad skates and they think quad skates are a very dangerous feeling and they don't like how short the wheelbase is. Like I explained earlier, the wheels don't extend past the boot. And if you've been inlining for a long time, that is a hard adjustment. And I've asked a lot of quad skaters who try inlining and they find inline skating to be very difficult. So. It is totally what just comes natural for you or what you end up spending more time on. I find what you practice with most is gonna become easier for you. When you're just starting out and you're a brand new beginner, there are pros and cons to both. A roller skate is going to be more stable, so it's gonna be a bit easier to just stand upright. It does have the toe step in the front, so it's a little bit easier to learn how to start braking and slowing down if you can use your toe step properly. And with inlines, it is easier to start gaining speed. It's easier to feel supported in the ankle and the foot in general, because usually these skates are designed to be a bit more, I would say, comfortable and supportive than a roller skate. If you're looking into getting into different styles of skating, then there might be some easier, more difficult aspects to each of these skates, but really just comes down to how much you practice with one versus the other. If you've been curious about the differences between inlines and roller skates, or you've been curious about trying one of these but not sure which, I hope this video was helpful for you and gave you some guidance on which direction to go. Again, I really enjoy both of these skates. I definitely quad skate much more than an inline skate. I'm sorry to any inline skaters if I said anything that was slightly incorrect, <laughs> but I did my best with the knowledge that I have. Um, but with that being said, even though I'm a majority quad skater, I still love to inline and I find it to be very helpful for um, building new skills on my quad skates and progressing, progressing in general. So if you're thinking about trying them both, I highly encourage you to and let us know in the comments how it goes or which skate you prefer yourself. Till next time!